All right, we are here at the Out of Chicago Conference out here in Chicago. It is the last day and we are having a great time and we are interviewing the founder, correct? That's me. Of this? Yeah. yeah. Chris, so thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. Thanks for finally uh, making the time to sit down and, and talk to me a little bit. Well, um, thanks for coming out and teaching at the event. Really appreciate it. You've been great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for yeah. having me. I had a good time and every, got lots of great feedback. So hopefully everyone enjoyed it. Yeah, and they did. They did. Absolutely. Cool. Cool. Yeah, you've been awesome. So, um, so how did you come up with this idea? <laughs> so, this, like, last year was your first year. Last year was the first year. This is the second year. Yep. Uh, the idea was that we know all these people, a lot of friends on social media, whether it's Flickr, Facebook, whatever it is, uh, but very rarely do we get together. And so I was doing photo walks and sometimes we get together, but some of these people are just fantastic uh, photographers and we said, let's have them come and they'll teach a couple classes and some of our friends will come and people will like it. And I expected maybe 50, 75 people and we had almost 200 people last year and, and we're up to over 300 people this year. So awesome. awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. Really so fun. you decided you were the right person. You're like, I'm going to take all this on. It's got to be a lot of work that goes into this. It's not like, hey, we're just going to do this tomorrow. You've been working on this for months and months and months. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We had our first meeting for this one one week after last year's. And we all got together and we said, yeah, what's everything that we want to make better? And yeah, that's that's yeah, we've been working the entire year. But, Excellent. but like you said, the whole thing about like I decided that we're going to do it. It's one of those things like whether it's photography or you're getting into some sort of business or whatever it is, in most things in life, people aren't going to come to you and say, uh, you know, would you please do this? We want you to be the guy. And yeah. a lot of people are out there waiting, please ask me to do this. Yeah. It's one of those things where like you just say, hey, I'm just doing it. Just like you, you got the whole, you know, Photographer's Adventure Club pack, you got that whole going. I mean, same thing. You just decide, I'm doing this, this is going to yeah. be my thing, and make it happen. And so, just make it happen. Yeah. No, I love that. Done. I love that. I mean, that's what we started talking about originally. We just started chatting business stuff. And, right. And now I'm here this year, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, no, it's awesome. Yeah, thank you for coming. So I, what I loved about this conference, I, I love smaller, more intimate settings you know you go to the WPPI there's how many thousands thousands of people so many speakers you can't see it all do it all mm -hmm. and here it's it's you know you have about 300 this year yep. so you really got to talk to, I got to talk to so many more people and really got to just interact and talk to interview a bunch of speakers and I don't get that opportunity with these big shows it's just like you only have this, the same amount of time three to four days and right. you have so many more people so um, do you see this growing past this and, and this venue in the future? Yeah, that's a tough call. That's that, that meeting next week. That's <laughs> what we'll talk about. So, yeah. Yeah, because our venue is about packed right now. Yeah. Maybe we go a little bit bigger, but not much more. Not so, much more. Yeah, yeah. It was... Yeah, because I, like, I like the small vibe. I think that's good. So, we'll see what we do. So, the, the one thing I loved about this is you're kind of matching it's up. Only one thing? There's lots of things, but the, the top thing I've loved about <laughs> So this would be the second thing, I think. Yeah. But the uh, the second thing is definitely the photo walks. How like you matched up, like we're going to go talk about street photography and then we're going to go do it. Right, right. That was the point. And uh, I love the way that Levi said, he said, this is the shootingest conference I've ever been to. Yeah, yeah that's that's the point. You and don't they... even go to the gym. I've just been walking the whole time and exercising. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been counting my steps. It's like, <laughs> oh, geez, we're out of control. Uh, so yeah, it's the, the walks are, are a big part of it. And that's why when we were first thinking of this, we're like, well, we're should we do we could do it out in the suburbs or whatever it'd be a whole lot cheaper easier people you know to get here it'd be a whole lot easier but the whole point is we're right in the middle of Chicago you just you just step out and we're in a great spot in Chicago you can get yeah. to all the best places just walking yeah and we've had a cloudy day we've had blue sky <laughs> day we've had a, we've really had a rainy, rainy day, day. Yeah. we've had a kind of partly cloudy day so it's like you yeah, know we've been lucky it's been a little bit of everything you never know what the weather but we've been pretty lucky Definitely, definitely. So um, as you move forward forward with this, are you going to start to get, I see some bigger speakers kind of for next year that are on the docket. So you're going right, to go right. with some bigger bigger names. You're going to keep it more of the people like I've seen here, some local people and you know a little what? bit of both. It's, it, that's the whole idea is it's a little bit of both. And I think that's the perfect way to do it. And I when I sent out an email to the attendees, or I guess it was in the welcome, I said, you know, we have some of the best uh, teachers, presenters in the world. Like we have Thomas Luthard and uh, Valerie Jardin. Marie Lagneau, as far as street photography, like the best in the world, coming from Switzerland, from London, yeah. Minneapolis, <laughs> you know, so coming from all <laughs> over uh, to teach. But on the other hand, we also have the photographers that know Chicago better than anyone else. And yeah. so those are the local people. So so you can learn from these people and you go out and shoot with them, too. But then you also go out on the walks with the people that, that know the city. 
Yeah, and you wrote the book on that. I did write the book, yeah. <laughs> you wrote the book on photo walk in this area, right? Yeah, it's the Photographer's Guide to Chicago. And last night we had about 40 people following me. And I did totally go the wrong way at one point. <laughs> so uh, that I've decided I probably shouldn't lead the photo walks after all these days of trying to plan this thing. Yeah. But my, <laughs> well, I saw some of the pictures when people were kind of coming back. They were playing in Lightroom. And I was like, wow, I should have been out there on that photo walk. I was teaching, so I have an excuse. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the hard thing. You can't do everything. Yeah, yeah, I keep thinking if I, there shouldn't be all at the same time. There's no way you can do everything. That's you know, you always miss out on something. Yep, definitely. But that that you have to come back next year then. So that's, you know, that's come the back. Point, there's yeah. be more speakers, more time. You yeah. don't have to see the person you saw last year. Go see someone new. Yeah, can we say that? I mean, we're going to have Rick Salmon next year. We're going to have, I think we're having Chris Orwig there. Uh, we're going to have Frederick Van Johnson cool. speaking. He's going to be talking about business well as well, kind of like you were this year. I'd love to see more business stuff. You know, yeah, people yeah. that want to make money either just buy new gear or to make a living out of it. Mm -hmm. I think they need, you know, you got to be business first, photography second almost these days. Right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If you, if you want to make money, you'd, yes, yep. <laughs> for sure. Most of the big photographers you see talk about business like Joel Grimes and people like that. They're like, you know, I'm a business person first, photographer second. Right. Although the clientele, that seems like a mean way to say it, the people that we have, uh, our attendees, our group, uh, yeah. most of them are not pros. They're, yeah. they're passionate amateurs and maybe they want to make a little bit of money. And yeah. so they, you know, Let's do that, but but we're not teaching how to run a studio. We're sure. not teaching how to run a full time photography business. Sure, sure. But that's I mean that's that's for me. I mean it's just yeah. passionate about photography. Love what you're doing, but hey, along the way you make a little bit of money. Sure, but so do it the good. right way. Mm -hmm. Do it the right way. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Cool. So what is next for you? I know you have your podcast, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. If I ever update it again, I gosh, you know, it was on my to-do list and just got so far down and it's like I interviewed Juan Pons and Rob Knight and CJ Schmidt and it's like they're all on my hard drive at home and I just feel terrible. I know that feeling. I feel so bad and they're all like, this is what I'm teaching at the conference. Like, oh, oh yeah. and they're still there. So, uh, so yeah, I got to get going on the, the podcast again. Uh, there's another crazy thing, but it hasn't been announced really, but we're going to try and do uh, an online school also. Cool. So we have so many photographers here that, uh, you know, that are... Uh, that are really good teachers. And and this is part of the whole secret of this whole thing is that some of these people that we have, like Marie Lagneau or John Crouch or Angie McMonagall, they're fantastic. You can't do any better than them in terms of uh, teaching uh, and in terms of photography. And yet they're not the people that are going to be invited to these big, huge conferences. No. But they're doing just as well. And so we're going to work together. We're going to do some teaching. And I, and I like that. It's like hidden gems. You're kind of getting these yeah. people that aren't the big rock stars out there. And I, and I like Correct. that. Yeah. And, and part of that is just this whole, you know, the whole thing with digital photography coming around five, 10 years ago and everybody getting into it. Well, at that same time, some of the people that got into it turned out to be amazing oh, yeah. and are now teaching and it's a whole new wave that's coming in. It, five, 10 years ago is a whole new wave of photographers. And now that's turned into a whole new wave of yep. teachers. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I totally agree. I totally agree. So, yeah. So I'm excited to be here and I really enjoyed myself and I'm kind of sad that, you know, it's over. It's kind of yeah, you get that like sad. wave and, know. you know, and it's like, oh, now it's over. I'm sure you're happy, be to, be happy to be able to lay to down. Bed, though. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. But you know, one last thing is I think we are going to do an out of New York. Is really? The, cool. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going there next week. We're going to get it set up. So cool. So we'll cool. see if Looking we can make that, that happen. Yeah. If, if you never hear about it again, it just fell apart. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. And out of Chicago next year is June 23rd through the 26th. Yeah. Okay. So check that out. Um, what's the website that they can uh, find all the information? Uh, I would just go to outofchicago.com and okay. all the links will be there. Okay. For sure. Awesome. Well, thank, thank you, you very much. Thanks for